Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. This is question number 39 in today's episode and the question is How do you write a method which takes x number of parameters? Usually whenever we define a JavaScript method, we define fixed parameters. But ES6 onwards, we have a provision where we can define a method which can take a generic that is x or n number of parameters and can act and can take either 1 to n any number of parameters. That's what the interviewer wants to know in this particular approach. Let's see the answer. Before we get started with our coding, I'll encourage you to get the ebook that I've authored and you can get top 100 JavaScript coding questions and snippets. These questions will help you in, in, improve your coding logic as well as help you become a better developer and crack interviews. You can get the ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com and if you have any questions or doubts or if you are having any problem in getting the book, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you in advance. All right, so today's question is, how do you write a method which takes generic n number of parameters, right? So like I said, ES6 introduced the REST operator through which we can implement a method which can take any number of parameters. So let's go ahead and see how to implement that particular method. All right. So remember the rest operator is defined using three dots. Okay. I'm going to show you the syntax right now. So we are going to write a method and um, you can call that method any name. Let's say get params. Right. And you can, this is a generic method which takes which doesn't which doesn't take a parameter yet but now using rest operator we write three dots followed by the name of the variable that you want to define right now this args is an array okay now it can take any number of params that we want to pass so if i just do console dot log args and and the calling, the way we'll call it is get params. Now you can pass one parameter or you can pass three parameters or you can pass more than that, like any number of parameters. So it would handle this particular. Now where are the usefulness of this particular method? Now if you notice, whenever you are unsure of how many, how many params you are going to get, or if you're not really sure that how many parameters can come in the course of the application, you would, it's a good idea to always write a generic method which can handle any number of arguments, right? Now that's how you write the method, define the function, function name, followed by three dots, which in ES6 is referred to as rest operator, okay? Remember the actual word is rest operator, okay? and using which we can pass any number of params. Now let me quickly show you the output of this. Now open developer console. And in the console you can see we are just console logging the values that we are getting. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now if you want to just get a value of one, you can just say args zero. Oops. just do sub zero and there you see you it prints the first one since it's an array you'll print zero one whichever options you want to pass okay now if you want to print the first in the first case it won't be because there is no zero but let me print zero so it should print one three and three that's the expected output and there we are right so that's how you will use and this is a very helpful method especially when you're writing uh, code in say react angular view uh, which all of which supports es6 so you would be able to easily use these technology and approach okay so go ahead try this out let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i hope you're finding this particular series very helpful and useful to get all the questions you can get the ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any doubts or if you are having any issues in accessing the book write to me at surya.aradhi at gmail.com thank you so much see you in the next episode